He's known as the godfather of Italian cool and has been credited with helping create the bright pop 1980s aesthetic. But despite fame in Italy and a huge impact on the design world, Ettore Sotas is far from a household name. Now on the centenary of his birth, an exhibition's opened in New York reflecting the breadth and depth of his work. Jade Barker has the story. He's been described as a rebel with a cause. A seminal figure in 20th century design, Ettore Sotsas turned his hand at everything from furniture, jewellery, architecture and ceramics. But no matter the medium, he was perpetually provocative, a true innovator. This exhibition is called Ettore Sotsas Design Radical. In what way do you think he was radical? In so many ways. In many ways, Sotsas is a kind of model for young artists and designers today. Uh, he transcended every type of practice. He followed his curiosity. That in and of itself is kind of radical. He was born in Austria in 1917, the son of an architect who was so determined his offspring would follow in his footsteps. He moved the family closer to the best architectural school in Italy. But Sotsas was not content to just design buildings, and he's better known for household items than houses. In 1969, he created the Valentine typewriter for the Olivetti company, describing it as the anti-machine machine. Something about the Valentine caught the spirit of the age. The fact that it was portable, you could put it in its case and you, you were supposed to use it anywhere except the office. And it was marketed like that. So it really is one of the first true pop consumer objects. And I think that's why it kind of has earned its place as, a, as an icon in design. Sotsas is also best known as one of the founders and leaders of the radical 1980s design group Memphis, whose playful postmodernist furniture captured the world's attention, adored by the likes of Andy Warhol and David Bowie. But Sotsas parted ways with the group in 1985. It was kind of the thorn in his side. It was the thing that made him internationally famous. It's what grabbed American attention. Um, and at the same time, he just felt like it was a tiny sliver of his practice. And uh, it was five years out of the 60 years that he was designing. Sotsas didn't like to be defined by one thing. And the inspirations he drew from were as wide-ranging as the mediums he worked with. To acknowledge that, Met curator Christian Larson paired the 80-plus Sotsas works on display with objects by different artists, primarily drawn from the museum's permanent collection. Larson hopes it will also help place Sotsas's work in historical context. There's no doubt that Sotsas had a profound impact on the design world. We see it even today. Young designers are coming out of school and they are referencing Memphis. But I was really surprised that they weren't referencing Sotsas. His name wasn't coming up anywhere. That seemed to be a problem. So I hope that this show goes some way um, towards uh, revealing who he was and why he was important. A designer's designer who refused to be pinned down, Sotsas left a sprawling legacy marked by contradictions. Now on the centennial of his birth, Matt Breuer is showcasing his prolific and provocative career and showing that his talents stretch far beyond just a typewriter or the Memphis group. By showcasing his works alongside other iconic designs, the exhibition is also highlighting his place in history. Jade Barker, Tauti World, New York.